All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Outlast 2. We did it. We're here. The very last chapter of the game. Chapter 6, Revelations. Um, and once we finish this, we'll be done with the game. Let's go ahead and, and, and get into it. Alright, we've just found Lynn. After being chased. Not sure what we're filming right now. So, let's say I want to. We're out. I got Jessica out. It was cold, but the snow had just started. We'll find a grown up and we'll tell him what happened. We'll be okay. We'll find a grown up. Okay. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, so this is the starting point. We can't hurdle anything, apparently. What is this? That's the mouth of the cave. There's light over this way. Oh, here we go. I guess I didn't make it. And I can't see shit. And the light, the, the night vision doesn't help. Oh, here we go, here we go. The hell? What the fuck? Seriously. We have to find shelter. As far from those places we can get. Yeah. Oh. We just left shelter. Blizzard? Is it lightning? Before the baby comes. We can't stay out here. Help me down, please, Blake. Okay, okay. Jesus, be careful. Fuck, fuck. Lynn, you okay? I'm coming down. Uh, it hurts. I'm sorry. So is this going to end up all being a delusion from my fractured mind because of the guilt of... Allowing my childhood girlfriend to die or something. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, Blake! What the fuck? I think, I think something's wrong. Yeah, like 50 things are wrong, Lynn. Well, you can't. We're being chased by a psycho. Okay. Oh, I got 
This lady again. Oh my god, Blake. At least try to fucking defend your wife. He just laid down like a bitch. You got lucky, Blake. You did not deserve that. Lynn's like, who the f- who's this pussy I married? Fuck you! And fuck your god! Lynn, chill out, okay? Blake, a path. This must be close, right? I mean, we must be close to the end. God damn, dog! Following the sun, moon, whatever that, wherever that is, is it morning? Here we go. Haven't we been here? It doesn't make any sense. Like she def. How would she? That feels like a bad idea. I mean, what it this is this can't be real. This is like true apocalyptic shit. He's like, hold on, Lynn, I gotta I gotta watch what I immediately just now filmed. Make sure I got the shot. Just hold on, just hold that baby up in there. Come on, Lynn! We have to get inside. You know there's like murders in this room like on the reg. Like you went into the torture room. Uh, I don't feel like this is the best place to hide. Oh shit. Shit shit shit. Oh. You need to lie down. Uh, I can't do this. You can. You can do this. Oh god. Something's wrong. Just keep breathing. It feels like something's wrong. Maybe it really is the Antichrist. I know, baby, I know. But you can do this, okay? Just keep breathing. Keep breathing. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, God! Oh, God! Keep breathing. It's Just killing. push! The squelching is... not great. Um... You did it. Hooray! I mean, maybe it is the Antichrist if it came, like, in a day. She wasn't pregnant, and then a day later she had a baby. And, unless this is, they're gonna retcon it all. Whatever, man, you gotta go. Throw that baby somewhere. Get out of here. Like in Beauty and the Beast? 
Oh, you mean drama. The play. We're saving for the, like, actual night. Uh-huh. We are. Okay. We, like, <laughs> cheek kiss. So, like, is she your girlfriend? Tell me. Shut okay. up, Jessica. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Got you again. That's the child, isn't it? Yeah, you think he wouldn't show up? We're taking care of my children. But yours. I am powerless again. The child's too strong already. You've murdered paradise. Uh -huh. God has gone silent since the storm, the birth. Who will he have if he destroys us all? Who will he have left to punish? I don't know, ma'am. You're asking a lot of questions. I don't know the answer to. All of them. Every last one. There's no more perfect faith than that. And still, God is silent. Kill that child if you can. If you love anything at all, crush its skull under your heel. I know God doesn't hear dead men, but I expect he answers them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Good. Okay, um, so I'm guessing he really is the Antichrist. That's my guess. Let's go. The danger seems to be over, maybe. Witness the end. Did you kill everybody? Is everybody dead? Can I not? I'll never let you go. You never let me go. Now the light has gone away. Savior, 
Listen while I pray, begging thee to watch and keep, and send me quietly to sleep. Watchful Savior, wash away all I've been wrong today. Help me every day to be gentle, gentle, more like thee. I was waiting for the fucking jump scare. It didn't happen. Okay, we did it! We did it. That's credits, baby. All right. Uh, first things first. The bottom center of the screen says that we have beaten two games in 2024. And 449 since we started doing this in 2020. Those numbers are lies. We've now beaten three games in 2024 and 450 since we started doing this in 2020. All right. Uh, very good game. Let's talk about why. Um, so, um, I just finished my rankings for the scariest games of, that I played in 2023 that I beat. And Outlast was number one. It was the scariest game I finished last year. This game is even scarier. Um, and I think there's a few reasons for that. Um, one is it, it, it looks better, which, um, shouldn't matter that much, but it does like, and it goes a little bit beyond just the graphics, but the graphics set the mood a lot better. The camera graphics are better, although they were quite good for 2013 when the first one came out, but this one's even better. The lighting is much better. Um, it's, uh, it's dark too dark when it's supposed to be and it's just bright enough when it's supposed to be they really nailed that in this one and the sound design is uh i think better um it's it's the music the or just the ambient sounds like this it's kind of hard to even call it music but the soundtrack is very good and um so from a technical standpoint i think that really elevates it uh I imagine this game was probably a bigger budget game than the first one. I don't know... Um, who is the developer of these games? Uh, it's... Uh, oh, Red, uh, well, Red Barrels. That's the developer and the publisher. Okay. Um, so, I don't know what else they do. But, um, but they had a lot of success with the first one, for sure. So, this is a bigger, better, longer... You know, it's so budget wise, it, I think that the game just sets the mood very effectively. Um, first one did a good job of that. I think this one does a great job. So that's number one. Number two, just talking about reasons why it's scarier. Um, this game does a really, really good job. So there, there are some games that I've played that they're like, Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. And, and it's exhausting, and it kind of gets old to the point where it's like, yes, I'm getting startled again, but it's like, I'm not scared. You know, you haven't really put me there. Uh, this game has jump scares, don't get me wrong. It has many, and they, uh, but those jump scares are a lot more effective when that mood and those, those low points, those, those lower points this game this game is really good at knowing when to be quiet and knowing when to uh pull it back and um i've i've always been a huge horror movie fan and games but um I, in fact a long time ago i made a i decided i was going to play or i was going to watch every popular movie ever very similar to what i'm kind of doing now with video games and um but specific to horror movies and so i watched a lot of horror movies and what I found watching those is that a lot of what makes the best horror movies really good is knowing, knowing when to, to uh, show restraint. And this game, I think, did a much better job of that. I think the first game was a lot more like jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. And uh, maybe a few minutes of quiet and then another jump scare. But this, this game is on another level on that. The third thing is I think the environment... Uh, is scarier. The first one was an insane asylum, which is scary, but it's also very well-tread road. 
You know, that's been done a million times. Now, weird hillbilly cult has been done before too, but um, not as much in video games, and not in and the 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 mind like the different the different settings like indoor out. I'll go. I'll I'll keep out of all the details, but there's in the, the Outlast game. There's really just one setting. You're in the asylum the whole time. In this game, you're in uh, you're outside a lot. You're outside almost the whole time, and and when you're not outside, those moments that you're inside and the different places that you're at are very impactful. Uh, so the different changes of setting, scenery, very smart, very scary, um, really good. The school was horrifying. Um, again, been done, you know. I've been in a school in a horror game before. You know, I've played Silent Hill, but this game does a good job of making it its own. And knowing when things should be really dark, and knowing thing, when things should be well lit. Like, the school was often well lit, and it was still horrifying. Even more so, uh, in certain points. So that was great. Um, let's see. Uh, the... Uh, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Um, what else? Um, the... Uh, so we're just talking right now about just the ways that it's scarier. Um, I think that the um, motivations, the story, makes it more interesting as well. In the first game, the story is almost non-existent. You're an investigative journalist. You're trying to figure out what's going on with this insane asylum. There's crazy shit in there. That's about the whole deal. Um, really, you're just trying to escape the whole time, which doesn't make a ton of sense. Because you're just walking by windows and like, dude, just get a brick and like throw it through that window and you can leave if that's all you need to do. This game is the motivations are a lot more complicated than that. You're you're you can't just walk away. You've got someone that you're looking for and um, just no like dealing with like these different factions and different groups of people and trying to figure out why each one is dangerous and and what they mean to your main goals um, that's uh, a lot more interesting than the first game. The first game was like, oh, there's crazy people around, we gotta get out of here. It was a little bit more complicated than that and um, I liked that. I liked that. I also thought just the, there's no combat in this game, but just the chase sequences and the stealth sec sections were better in this game, um, they weren't bad in the first game, but um, they were a little bit more obscure. They were a little bit more obtuse. Like, it was not clear very often, or sometimes in the first game, like, when you're supposed to run and when you're supposed to hide. There's no fight, but when you're supposed to run and when you're supposed to hide. I think this game did a better job of communicating that intuitively. Um and uh, that made it more less frustrating. And then uh, we talked about the environments already, but let's circle back to that because one of the things that I think really put this game over the top was the set pieces. Uh, the mines, the school, the river, just the, the wilderness. Um, there's a lot of change in setting and it keeps it fresh, it's good. So, all, all in all, very, very, very pleased with this game. Um, more so than I thought I would be. I figured I'd like it about as much as the first one. I didn't know what was different. I didn't realize it was as different as it is. Um, so, really good. One of the better horror games I've probably played when it comes to just straight scary. You know, this isn't going to hold a candle in my rankings to something like Resident Evil 4 Remake. But really, honestly, a lot of the reason I like a game like that has nothing to do with how scary it is, because that game's not really that scary. It's it's really more just about how fun it is. This game is really fun because it's scary. That is its main attraction. Um, now, if I were to think of some negatives... Um, you know... I... 
I can't really think of any. The only, the only, the only reason this game is going to rank as high as something like Resident Evil 4 is because it doesn't have those crunchy, gamified things that I like as much in video games. The only thing that's really like gamified in this game is resource management, which is common for the genre. But all you're really managing is health and batteries, and um, so that only really goes so far as far as like the gameplay loop being fun. Um, there's no ammo to manage. There's no combat. There's no RPG elements. Um, so, you know, um, if this had been a 30 hour game, it wouldn't have been as good. That would, that, that would be way, way, way too long for a game like this. It was, I would say the perfect length. Um, the only, like I said, the only reason it's not going to rank higher is because it's not as video gamey as some of my favorite games. But when it comes to just straight up horror, I'll have to look on the list, but that's the question. Is this the best just straight up horror game I've played since I started doing this? It's going to be close. I'll have to look at my list, but it's very good. It's very, very good. Um, I can't really think of anything negative. Uh, so I, I, I'm racking my brain and I can't think of anything negative to say about this game. So, so... Maybe I'll think of something later when I do the review video, but I can't think of anything now. So, all right, we did it. So, last order of business. Um, Outlast 2, it has been a blast. I'm looking forward to Outlast Trials in March. That's why I wanted to play this now. Um, but we are now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. Bye. Good game. Great game. All right. We did it. Um, that's it for Outlast 2. So, uh, just real brief roadmap in case you're interested before I end the video for the next few days. Um, I believe, I think the next game I'm going to play is going to be Dragon's Dogma. I know that's going to take some time and I'm prepared for that. Um, I might play something else instead. I, I was, I'm either going to do that or I'm going to play Cur the next Kirby game, which is Kirby's Dream something or... I don't know. Some Kirby... Whatever's after Adventure. It's his third Kirby game. I think it's a Game Boy game or something. If I can find it. So I'm either going to play a Kirby game and then Uncharted Lost Legacy and then D Dragon's Dogma or I may just go straight into Dragon's Dogma. I'll probably do that. Uh, and then uh, the next... Uh, January, we don't have a single new game to play, but in February, we've got four. Suicide Squad comes out on February 2nd. Jubilee on February 9th, Banishers on February 13th, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on February 29th. So February is going to be busy. So we're trying to beat this big games that I know I need to beat before then. Um, okay, cool. That's it. Um, if you're still here and you watch the whole video, or even if you watch the very end, thank you. I appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. I will see you on the next one, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.